life of a full-time influencer. I'm 18, I'm trying to move my parents out the hood, and this is all I got. I don't got no school, I don't got no job. I start off my day by brushing my teeth, writing down my to-do list, and then obviously doing my morning stretches, and then putting my cute cat in a cute little hoodie, and then here's a fit check for you guys. Now we're on our way to the beauty supply store because I have to pick up some hair products, so I picked up some stuff, here's me shopping. Bag secure. Then I had to take a COVID test, and after it came out negative, my friend Abby picked me up, got me Starbucks, and then we went grocery shopping. The grocery store made us super hungry, so we went to Chick-fil-A, came back, took some IG bangers, and then ate our food, and that's about it. Hey, hi guys, welcome to another day in my life. So I went to bed last night with a shirt that had chocolate on it, and well, I forgot to take the shirt off. So I slept with a chocolate-covered shirt. I was done with myself at this point. I also woke up with this giant red zit on the tip of my nose. We love to see it. I did my makeup, and then I let down my hair. I'm so loving the color of my hair right now. That touch-up was very needed. I then went to go change my outfit. Here's outfit check. I'm going on a hot girl walk with a friend of mine, so that is the look I was going for. Added a little cute crossbody bag. After this, I went to go wake up my little loo bug. At this point, is around 7.15 in the morning. Look at her big eyes. Ugh, she's so cute. After this, I took her outside for a little bit to get some sunshine. It was a little too bright outside. I met up with my friend downtown and we did our hawker walk. The walk button was making the strangest noises. It was so creepy. Here's a little fit check. After this, we walked to go get some coffee. The coffee was so good. I also got myself a chocolate chip scone. Delicious. After this, I headed back home and then I randomly came across a little baby bird that was on the ground. So I decided to save it. I made this nest out of gloves and I put it on top of the table because I was super worried that the cats were gonna get to it. The bird was big chilling, having a good time. I went back inside and my Luvug was trying to steal my coffee as she usually does. Then I went straight to editing my YouTube video where she just cuddled with me, it was really cute. I went outside to go check the mail and the bird and the bird was gone and I feel really bad, but yeah. And the parents were following. It's like food blogging in public. Bother you, you're a midwife. Taking some cool pictures. Are you like a food person? Who, a blogger and content creator? None of my business. Just one photographer to another. Keep an eye on that reflection behind you. It's not in it. Yeah. It's not in the frame. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Oh my god, let's not underestimate the problematic bloggers of this time period too. I remember there was this one blogger that I was pretty obsessed with. Um, and I think like her life was very aspirational to me. Um, she was really wealthy and had a lot of access and means. And I remember she had a baby and on her blog, she shared, this was probably like two or three months after she had the baby, she shared what she weighed before the baby like before pregnancy and what she weighed when she had the baby and what she now weighed now. And she was like, I'm actually skinnier than before I had the baby and a whole pant size smaller. And I remember just being like, she's still, she's smaller than me and she just had a baby and she's smaller than she's ever been. Like what the F is wrong with me? And I remember then she like went into what her workout schedule was, um, after having the baby. Um, so I was like, I wonder just now, I was like, I wonder what she's up to now. So she has a, a, sort of a different blog, sort of a different vibe now. Just, you know, I, I get that comes with the time, whatever branding, but she has a very recent blog post all about fitness and in it, she says she didn't work out after pregnancy. Um, and that, you know, it just, I was like, that's not true. That is a lie. I know that because I am insane. Um, so then I went back and I couldn't find her old blog. I didn't really look very hard, but some of the posts on her new blog have the same vibe. So I found where she talked, cause she had said that she did the tone it up workouts after her baby. So I found where she talks about doing the tone it up workouts, um, in a blog post from like 2017 where she talks all about like working out, but at a different level of intensity than she did pre-pregnancy and blah, blah, blah. And, like, that's fine. But like, don't put out stuff now, now that the, now that like the trend is different, don't put out stuff now that says I didn't work out at all between my kids. That's not true. You, or you were lying before. I don't know which one it was. Um, do I care? Kind of. 
I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, this was somebody who like, it's not probably a person I should be following. It's not somebody I should be fact checking. So probably going to let it go after this, but you know, that shit sticks with you. And, uh, yeah, I remember feeling like, Oh God, this, I'm garbage because I weigh much more than this person. Um, 